Hey. Hey, how hey. was it? Well, I had a great time. Um, Chauncey, on the other hand, <laughs> I will tell the story. It was going great. I let him win. We were bonding. He even said that I could call him dad. And what did he ask you not to call him? Daddy. <laughs> All right, look, here's the story. Well, we had just finished playing racquetball and we were gonna take a steam. I walk into the steam room and it's really steamy. <laughs> so I take off my glasses and that's when it happened. Guys? Over here. Have a seat, son. Chandler, I can't believe it. I know. You gave my father a lap dance. Why do they put so much steam in there? Because otherwise they'd have to call it the room room. Why, okay, why? <laughs> why did that have to happen? Come on, it's not that big a deal. Not that big a deal. There, there was touching of things. Yeah, I, I know you wanted to bond with my dad, but did you really have to bond to that part? Listen, I'm sure that dad doesn't care. He probably thought this was really funny. He'll be telling the story for years. I don't want him to tell this story for years. Oh, but he will. <laughs> he still tells the story about how Monica tried to escape from fat camp. I wasn't escaping. Then how'd you get caught in the barbed wire? I was trying to help out a squirrel. You were trying to eat it. <laughs> if that is your father calling to tell this story, then the marriage is off. Come on. Hello? I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. Okay, I'll call you later, Dad. I love you. <laughs> All right, I'm off to see your dad. Whoa, whoa. Aren't you a little overdressed? <laughs> yeah, and, and you better make sure he tips you this time. <laughs> Look, I figured I would try to convince him not to tell the story anymore, and I figured the best way to do that was face to face. And by face, I don't mean his lap. And by face, I don't mean my ass. <laughs> I understand. I'd feel a lot more comfortable if you didn't tell people what happened. You know, I'm a little... I'm a little embarrassed about it. I understand completely. There's nothing more horrifying than embarrassing yourself in front of your in-laws. As a matter of fact, when I started dating Judy, I was unemployed. And her father asked me what I did for a living, and I told him I was a lawyer. <laughs> what did you do when they found out? They never did. So if you ever see me giving them legal advice, just nod along. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> so, I guess we wear swimsuits in here. 